high-speed pursuit. We understand that's happening in the East LA area. Now we're in Boyle Heights. Uh, we don't know exactly what the want is for this, why this driver is wanted by officials, but we do know uh, that they are in the process and look at him driving pretty aggressively. He or she appears to be uh, trying to get away. Yeah, bypassing traffic and looking to make a left into traffic. That's never a good thing. So this is specifically in Boyle Heights now on Emory Street and South Grand Vista Avenue. This is all thanks to our extreme nav technology. Speeds aren't anything to really be too concerned about. It was going about 40 miles an hour when we just brought this to you. Now it looks like it's under the underpass, so we don't have particular eyes on it. But we do, Alex, see the, uh, LA, the LAPD going by now with the flashing lights. And it's it's on Service Streets, and look at all the traffic stopped. And obviously, they're going, well, why are we stopped here? It looks like they can see that this is happening right before them. Yeah, and, and there's some concerns uh, and reports that this person's been driving on the wrong side of the road as well, uh, which makes it especially dangerous. Of course, we are right in the middle of rush hour. Um, lots of folks are out uh, and about, not expecting to run into a high-speed pursuit, trying to get home at the end of a busy day, at the end of a busy week, wanting to get back safely to their families. Uh, and then this happens. Uh, and uh, you can see as we try to see the lights there and look at this guy now driving real fast the wrong way. This is very dangerous because uh, any of those folks uh, could be hit. And, it's, and it is, frankly, Marla, made more dangerous uh, the fact that there isn't a, a car, a, a lights and sirens right around this person, so people may not know mm -hmm. that they are coming. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it is a balancing act that law enforcement driving right through the stop sign there mm -hmm. has to weigh whether it is more dangerous or less dangerous for them to follow this person real closely or do they just track them from the sky they're right now making that decision to not be right on his or her tail, um, but that creates some, some challenges uh, for them and challenges for folks on the ground as well. Yeah, so this is East 44th Street uh, in the Southgate area now, and yet when they talk about bringing these pursuits to an end, Alex, sometimes they do have to back off because it's just too dangerous. They first and foremost take public safety into consideration. Uh, and at this point in time, speeds are just too much for a pit maneuver they will often resort to. We've seen that uh, bring pursuits come to an end many a times. We've also seen the spike strips, but they, it's just too hard when there's so many vehicles out on a Friday evening, 540 at night, and now we're back on a much busier roadway here. And it does look like a silver tinted windows. Again, we're still working to figure out the want, why LAPD, the, this is, by the way, the Newton division that picked this up, why this driver is being pursued in the first place. Alex, they always assume the worst, that this person is armed and that there's more than one. Right, and, and, uh, and ultimately officer safety is a paramount concern uh, and seems to be determinant a lot of the things. So um, we, we, it, it, it seems pretty obvious based off of what we're looking at that they are in tracking mode, uh, which means that they don't have the cruisers right up behind the driver, that they're following from the air um, out of an abundance of caution. Um, and they're following this driver, but you look at these situations here, especially when the driver speeds up and goes against traffic, that's especially dangerous, and you hold your breath every time hmm. that this driver does it, because any unsuspecting person could be driving the other way and, and obviously have no idea that this person is coming. Yeah, speeds uh, 60 miles per hour plus on these surface streets. And yeah, you make a very good point. When they do decide to back off and go into tracking mode, that doesn't mean that they just give up on the pursuit. That means that the ground units back off because they are worried about public safety, officer safety, but they do continue to surveil via the airship above so you know sometimes these pursuit suspects get away and the stat is 18 percent of pursuit suspects get away uh we've seen it happen on our air yeah uh it can happen but again the, it, it takes a lot for that to happen most well, of the I mean, time and, and, and uh, most of the time it seems like they're in tracking mode when they do get away uh mm -hmm. which and and oftentimes that means 
driving to places like underground parking lots uh, or where it is hard to track somebody mm -hmm. from a helicopter. Um, Ooh. Whoa, whoa. Now yep. we're getting real close, and, and this is getting real dangerous. Yeah, give, this give a is heads a recipe up, you know, for a head, head and, on. I know you, you were on last night with The Pursuit and talked about, you know, part of the reason we do this is as a, as a public safety, uh, and you may want to give your friends that are in this neighborhood of East L.A. a heads up, uh, especially if they're on the Look roads right now, that this guy's coming because, um, oh. you know, this is not good. Um, and, and people, it would be great if they are aware, um, because they are in tracking mode, you don't have anybody to try to stop this. You don't, uh, you do have the ability for this guy to, uh, to potentially go into a parking garage and, and get away. And, and you also have no real warning that this is coming other than the, the multiple helicopters flying overhead, not only law enforcement helicopters, but media helicopters. Okay, here we go. Woo, okay, this is really dangerous now. Yeah, and it also appears to be t a two-tone vehicle, unless just that's my vantage point, but it does look to be sort of a sports car-like, whether that's a Camaro or a Dodge uh, or a Challenger. We're still working to get the make and model, but it's got some pep to it. I mean, speed's uh, now 70 miles per hour. It just hit 80, now backing down. Uh, you know, this gives me a sigh of relief because it was so congested where they were just were and it was a wrong way driver and now it looks like he has this or she has this uh, particular road south alameda street to himself just as i say that now doing exactly what right. i just described Ooh. yeah and and what we also um don't know because we haven't been seeing this for all that long and don't know really anything about the driver right now is does this person have a familiarity with this neighborhood is there a reason why they're driving in this neighborhood of East LA are they near their home are they looking to get back to their mom's house or something like that or um, is this just sort of a random uh, area where they're traversing the streets they may be experts in these particular streets or they may be on them for the first time